steam locomotive. One of man's most complicated, yet simple premise machines ever conceived. The whole idea behind the steam locomotive is to burn fuel to create heat, which in turn boils the water creating steam. The steam is then collected in the steam dome, sent to the pistons which in turn move the wheels. With that being said, there were three types of fuel that were most commonly used on the railroad. They were wood, oil, and coal. The most popular fuel by far was coal. It usually wasn't too expensive and was really efficient at burning. As such, most railroads used coal to fuel their locomotives, and the T&P was no different. About every engine on the system was fueled by coal, but that would all change in the year 1917. During this time, the U.S. was looking for an untouched oil supply to help fuel war efforts. They ended up finding a source in the city of Ranger, Texas. Once the war was over, the TNP had access to this massive oil field, thus allowing the TNP to convert a majority of its roster from coal to oil burning. The first locomotives to receive this upgrade were the G1s. By the 1920s, most of the TNP steam roster had been converted to burn oil. But then, in 1922, oil prices began to rise. As such, the TNP wanted to experiment to see if there was a better alternative in the fuel department. A man would approach the TNP with an idea. That man was Mr. Fogg, a combustion engineer that proposed a method of burning lignite coal. Now, at the time, lignite coal was only 50 cents a ton, and not to mention that it was extremely abundant in East Texas. But lignite coal has a small problem. It's not very efficient at burning. Nevertheless, the TNP decided to hear him out. Mr. Fogg proposed the idea of blowing air into the smoke box, creating a forced draft. Then, with the help of fans in the smokestack, gases would be extracted, creating a corkscrew-like plume of smoke. The TNP liked the idea and agreed to the experiment. They would end up choosing locomotive number 524, beginning the story of the Snuff Dipper. Before 524 got her legacy as the Snuff Dipper, she was your run of the mill engine. She was a 2102 Santa Fe type built in 1919 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. And she was also classified as a G1B. Now, the G1Bs were relatively small for being a Santa Fe type, but their driving wheels were relatively large, meaning that they could go pretty fast, making them perfect for Mr. Fogg's experiment. And with that, 524 would be sent to the shops to be converted into the Snuff Dipper. Now, during 524's stay, she had quite a bit of work put into her. Said work included a cast steel ash pan placed underneath the firebox, a huge blower placed to the left side of the locomotive, a street stoker that helped feed coal from the tender into the firebox, a 30 inch smokestack which was equipped with fans in the inside to help extrude gases, and finally, a completely sealed off firebox with peepholes to allow the crew to observe the fire without actually opening the firebox. With all that being said and done, 524 would be eventually released from the shops and then sent on some nightly runs between Marshall, Texas and Shreveport, Louisiana. During these nightly run trips, 524 would be pulling an affectionately dubbed local called the Yellow Dog. Now usually, there didn't tend to be anything special on the Yellow Dog, but for the run for 524, Mr. Fogg would have a caboose set right behind the engine so he could monitor the locomotive. Now, for the most part, 524 would be able to make her nightly runs, but more often than not, she just couldn't due to the fact that the coal wasn't very efficient. Surprisingly though, they decided to keep the experiment going until the year 1927, when the TNP finally had enough. They stripped her of all of her snuff dipping parts and converted her into an oil burner, concluding one of the most interesting parts of 524's entire career. Not a whole lot of interesting things happened to 524 after her experimental life. She, for the most part, would be relegated to hauling dodgers, which were basically empty freight drags that had to dodge more important trains. 
However, this simple and quaint life would all change during World War II, as the Southern Pacific would experience a power shortage. 524 and a few of her sisters were sent over to the SP to help them out. And once they had finished helping the SP, they were returned home. And unfortunately, around 1949, 524 would be laid up and scrapped, concluding the story on one of the most overlooked engines in the TNP's roster.